Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I decided to watch for the very first time The Blind Side. The Blind Side is a 2009 film that was directed by John Lee Hancock, and it's based on a true story. The plot is we follow this guy, Michael Orr, who is, you know, he's he's going through some some trouble. He's going through some tough times. He's homeless. He, he's a teenager. Until he gets brought in, taken in by Sandra Bullock's character, Leanne Tui, and she just takes care of the guy. You don't really 100% know why. I guess it's just out of the goodness of her heart. And, and, and yeah. <laughs> now, the main reason why I decided to watch this film was, number one, it's been on my list for a while because Sandra Bullock won an Oscar for this movie. I remember back when this came out, even though I didn't watch it, I was fully aware of the Oscar buzz, the Oscar attention that it got. So, of course, I was curious. And after watching the movie, Sandra Bullock is great. She's amazing. She truly deserves that Oscar because between her accent and uh, just everything that she did with her performance, I, whether any of this is true or not, I wanted to buy that a character like her, a person like her, exists and did do something that was this nice and this selfless. And I just, I appreciated the performance that made me appreciate the character. Quentin Aaron plays Michael Orr. Uh, you know, I I was feeling a certain way, especially because I'm watching this for the first time now. Because I'm sure some of you have heard by now that there's a whole lawsuit situation. A big controversy going on with this movie. Uh, not only as far as what exactly is true about the film, but... Like financial stuff of who didn't get paid uh, deservedly so for this story and how accurate the story is. Like Michael Orr, for example. This movie paints him to be this definition of sad sack. I mean, not only is he homeless, not only does he not really have parents or family to lean on, there are shots of this guy looking very sad and very... I don't want to say pathetic because it's it's sad. It is. And I I truly wonder, when they talk about how much he couldn't read, how much he couldn't write, how academically not intelligent he was. I saw interviews of the Michael Orr in real life talk about how this is ridiculous, that he was not an idiot. He could read. He has proof of doing things in school at a young age that shows that he can read. So some of that was a little bothersome to me. I more latched on to the movie as far as seeing Sandra Bullock's character not only uh, do all these nice things for him, but stick up for him in certain situations, like when her friends were making comments or when other people make comments in the school. Seeing Michael Orr's interaction with the young son, SJ, I found all that very cute and amusing. I was very conflicted, I'm going to be honest. There are parts of this movie that I just couldn't help but question and go, how much of this is bullshit? I know many of true story movies in Hollywood are bullshit, right? Like, I know a lot of stuff is made up or a lot of events are switched around. But when it comes to uh, the allegations that are going on in real life and what exactly is is true or what is the real intent or not, I guess that was getting to me at the beginning. But I will say this. And let me just jump right into... I did like the movie. I thought the movie, nice story, well acted, feeling good about it. And I, it, maybe I shouldn't be saying that. Maybe I should be saying, fuck you, Hollywood, you bamboozled us again. But I can't pretend like I didn't sit here and watch this film and say, I, God damn it, 
This made me feel a certain way. This did get some enjoyment from me. And and I feel weird about it. I feel weird that I'm saying that I enjoyed the movie because of everything. But I did. I did enjoy the movie. Some of the other cast, you have Tim McGraw, who is playing the husband. And my God, does he just let Sandra Bullock do whatever the fuck she wants. I don't mean let as far as she needs permission. I mean, he needs permission from her as far as shit that's going to get done in this house. Lily Collins plays the daughter, and I thought her character was interesting because I figured it was going to be more of an issue on her having this big black dude come into the house, and it's like, oh, I'm supposed to be cool with it. But she was cool with it, <laughs> you know? It's almost the least believable thing about the movie is that the f entire family, the kids, the, the husband, everyone is okay with this huge black guy coming in and just living there rent free. I'd like to believe that, you know, some shit like that's possible, but I can understand the question. Kathy Bates plays the uh, academic tutor. So it's always nice to see Kathy Bates. T-Dog from The Walking Dead plays this gangster from the projects that uh, Michael Orr is from. And I just got a kick out of seeing T-Dog because I haven't seen that dude in God knows how long. I was also surprised that in the movie, in the story themselves, like the third act, this gets addressed. You have a representative of this company that is questioning Michael on... The validity of the Tuies, the validity of them putting him in school, worrying about his grades, pushing him to football, like, what was the real intent? And I sat there and thought, holy shit, this gets addressed? Like, everything that's going on currently with the controversy of the movie, the lawsuit, everything that he is accusing them in real life of, that was actually brought up in the movie? That's interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. What more can I say? I enjoyed the movie. Is it accurate? Is it 100% true? Are there many controversial thoughts and opinions that will be discussed about the film going forward now? I absolutely expect it. But I watched it for the first time. And I enjoyed it. So guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of The Blind Side? And no, Sandra Bullock does not need to give her Oscar back, you idiot people. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!